In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use CozyRock's REST Connection Manager with the Zero Config file to establish connectivity with the Zero service. And first, I want to show you what Zero has on their website about doing this. So, um, CozyRock's Connection Manager is considered a private application by Zero. So we need to register it as a private application within your account and organization with Xero. So this is the web page that we're using that tells us how to do the setup. And uh, we need to set up a public-private key pair in order to complete the process. So if you click on this link here, it will take you to this page and this area shows us the commands that we'll be using with an application called OpenSSL to generate all the keys and certificates that we need to, uh, to get this going. First, let me just give you a little bit of uh, information to set, set you up for success. The types of security certificates that we'll need to get this going um, are a public key that we'll be using um, when you register the private application with Xero in your organization. And it's going to have the .cer extension. And then we're also going to have to generate a private key that will have the .pfx extension. And this is needed by Cozy Rock's uh, Connection Manager. And as far as the parameters that we need to um, fill in in the Connection Manager, uh, there are three of them. The first one is the certificate, and that is the private key that I just mentioned with the .pfx extension. And then there's a password, which we're going to, you're going to set up a password when you initially use OpenSSL to create the first private key. And then there's a consumer key that you're going to get when you go through the process of registering the private application with Xero. And uh, what I'm going to show you in this video, uh, first of all, is how to use OpenSSL to generate the keys that we'll be needing, and then how to register the Cozy Rock REST Connection Manager as a private application with Xero, and then how to configure the REST Connection Manager to work with Xero. So let's get started. And I just want to quickly show you how to open the SSL app. You actually have to go to where it is in your program files and go into the OpenSSL folder, go into bin, and then find the executable the application, right mouse click, and then run as administrator. And that's how you get that open. So these are the commands that the Xero website told us to issue. Um, this one is the first command, and you are going to need to modify it slightly and add this argument to it so that we get a password when we generate this key, and that's going to be used in the REST Connection Manager configuration. So uh, I'm going to copy that command and paste it in down here is where I have the OpenSSL um, application open. And uh, so anyway, now I need to generate a passphrase. And then I need to verify it. All right, and let me just show you where these keys are going. So <clears throat> here's the key we just generated. And now I'll do the second command, which is just going to create a public key certificate um, from that private key that we just created. So I'll paste that down here. Now I need to enter that passphrase I created on the previous command. And now um, I guess this is to personalize the key more, make it more unique. So just enter your information here, of course. That's not my real email address. All right, so now we have that key. And the final step 
is to generate the key in the uh, PFX format to use in the REST Connection Manager. And I have to enter that same passphrase again. And now I have to create another one for an export password and verify it. All right. Uh, now I'll show you that all of the keys are right here that we just generated. So now I'm going to go to register our application on the website, the Zero website. So if I go back to this page, um, here I have it highlighted. That's the page we need to go to to, um, to register the public key with Zero. So it'll be with, within your account and the organization that you want to use for this. So it's an organization you have defined in Zero. So I'm going to click on My Apps. And I click on New App, and then click on Private App, and then give the app a name, which I'll just name it Cozy Rock, and then select an organization, which in your case would be a real organization. I'm just using a demo company. Now I need to drag the public key from the bin folder here over to, um, oops, this one over to this web page it's down here all right and then I'll click on this checkbox and click on create app and make sure you save it And then here is another one of the parameters that we need for the REST Connection Manager. So copy that, and I would suggest saving it somewhere. And then we'll go over to Visual Studio. So to use the Connection Manager, I'm going to right mouse click down here in this section. Click on New Connection. And then scroll down and find the REST Connection Manager. <clears throat> so I will find the zero config. And here are those three parameters that I talked about earlier. So we paste in the consumer key. And then we'll go find the certificate. And this is the one that ends in .pfx that we use here, and then I'll enter the password. And now I will test the connection, and again, that password is the one that I created with the first command in OpenSSL. All right, so the test connection succeeded, so um, our connection manager is set up. Thank you for watching.